Hey guys, so I know this is like an awkward angle right now. I apologize, but I'm actually on break at work right now. I'm supposed to be back in in like 30 minutes, less than that actually. So the reason I'm doing this right now is because I kind of wanted to cut off some of my filming time later on tonight because I do have to be at work really early tomorrow morning. So I wanted to get to bed as early as possible, but I know I'm not going to be in bed till at least like 10 o'clock tonight because I want to try to edit this video and get it uploaded for you guys as soon as possible. So the reason why I'm here today is because obviously Jeffree Star just uploaded his video, which was an apology video. There's a huge fly flying around right now and it's about to get fucked up. It doesn't stop. You wanna know what's weird too? If you guys watched my last video, I even said in my last video, Jeffrey needs to sit down, make a video about it, just explain everything, apologize for his shit, own up to his shit, and just be an adult and just talk about it. Because the biggest problem people are having is that he has not talked about these problems. He hasn't brought up anything, apologized, at least not a full apology for anything he's done in the past. I really do feel like he was remorseful for everything he did in the past, and I'm so happy that he finally, even though it should've been done a long fucking time ago, I'm so glad this is finally out and in the public. Now I've been a fan of Jeffrey for a very long time. I'm not gonna say I've been a fan since his MySpace days because I'm gonna be honest. I really didn't know who he was up until he came onto the YouTube scene and talked about his brand and actually the first thing I heard about him was his brand. So I really haven't been a fan that long if I'm being honest. However, I really do love him. I think he is super super talented. He can beat a face to the fucking gods. Even on his worst days the dude can fucking beat a face to the gods. Like I just really like him a lot. His personality is fucking funny. He he has a great sense of humor, he can laugh at himself, which is exactly what I'm like. I like to laugh at myself, and it's very, very rare to find people who can literally just make jokes about themselves and actually laugh about it. However, there has always been this like dark cloud that surrounds him. It's like this negative connotation that follows his name everywhere because of all these shitty things he did in the past. And honestly, it's for good reason, because the things he said and the things he did were very, very shitty. There's no denying that. I will never sit here and make him out to be a great person. The things he said and did in the past were fucking terrible to do. And like I said, it has been something that has been following him around for so long and it's bitten him in the ass so many fucking times and for a little while he made me a little bit angry because he would constantly say that was me like 12 years ago like this is me way back when I'm not the same person okay but address the issue don't just fucking ignore it thinking it's gonna go away it's not going to and for a long time it didn't and the sad part about it is even though he sat down and made this very raw video a very honest video in which he literally sat down and owned up to all of his shit and apologized for everything it doesn't matter because there's still gonna be people cooking we're gonna use it against him cooking whenever they get the chance to whenever they see fit cooking and it fucking pisses me off because the number one thing that I fucking hate in this world is watching somebody apologize for something and they're genuinely remorseful they genuinely feel bad for the things they did however everyone still uses it against them after the fact like that just to me pisses me off how many times have we all done something shitty or said something shitty and we have asked for forgiveness from this person and they've actually said no I'm not gonna forgive you or they say yes I'll forgive you but continue to use the same shit against you every single fucking time they get an argument with you it's happened to me a few times and luckily after the last few times I just gave up the friendship and I was like you know what if you're gonna keep using my past against me even though I fucking apologized and I was remorseful and I felt sorry for you because of what I did and what I said then why the fuck am I still here like I don't deserve that shit you know what I mean like I don't use that shit against anybody once you apologize once you own up to your shit once you confess that you did wrong and you truly seem remorseful I let that shit go and that's that there's nothing there, there's no reason for me to bring it up again you know what I mean like there's no reason for that however people like fucking cookie in corn kernel fucking kaboom they're all gonna use the same shit against Jeffrey for as long as they can because that's what they do best And I have to admit when Jeffrey put up that apology on Twitter I was kind of annoyed with him because I'm sorry in my opinion There is no way you can accurately and completely apologize and explain and own up to something that fucking bad in 140 characters or less There's no way like I said in my last video, I think the best thing he could have done was make this video and thank God he did. However, like I said, it doesn't matter what he said or how remorseful he truly was. Shitheads like Crookian and Kaboom are still gonna use this shit against him because that's what they do best. That's how they get views, that's how they get fucking content up. Because Jeffree Star and his friends have been their cash cows for so fucking long.
because he wasn't conforming to the social norm of what men should be doing and makeup back then was not one of those things whatsoever there was always a negative connotation to it people always had these negative thoughts about it but now i see so many incredibly talented like jeffrey patrick manny obviously so many talented men in makeup that i'm just it's so amazing that now we are able to have a community where everyone is included there's no one who's excluded no one's shunned away for wearing makeup it doesn't matter what the fuck you describe yourself as i don't give a fuck if you can beat a face you're welcome here however that was not the case back in like the 80s the 90s it was a very very like taboo thing if you will so to an extent i can understand why he was so angry i understand that when you're picked on constantly and spit on and call names it could really degrade you and it makes you feel like shit i understand that however that does not make what you did right it doesn't make what you said right it was shitty but like i said i as a subscriber of his for a, quite a while now i do feel like he was truly remorseful everyone makes mistakes some mistakes are worse than others obviously everyone sins differently right but what makes you a good person is the fact that when you make those mistakes you own up to your shit you apologize for everything and mean it and grow from those mistakes as a person into a better person i know i've made so many mistakes in my life i used to be a bully i've told you guys this before i was a shitty ass person to people i treated people like shit for no fucking reason and i'm not gonna sit here and try to justify things there's no reason for it there was no reason for me to treat these people the way i did i was just a fucking shithead and I thank God I grew up and with maturity, I realized that what I was doing was wrong. But the problem was back then I was so overshadowed with my own anger for being bullied by other people that I thought that was the best way to get attention off of myself. And it wasn't, it made things so much harder for me because these were people that for the most part, I had no beef with, I had no problem with them. It just didn't make sense to me. And you know what? It made it even worse because when it came down to me actually growing from that and learning from those experiences, I looked at those people and I was like damn why the fuck am I making them feel the exact way I feel when I get bullied like I am in their shoes literally and I'm sitting here putting them in my shoes and doing the same thing I, that people do to me like it just it didn't make any sense and I'm so glad that I grew from that and I matured as an adult and I am happy to say that I have really good relationships with everybody that I did have a negative past with because I own up to my shit face to face that was the only difference I did face to face because I feel like if I was willing to bully them face to face that I can apologize and own up to my shit face to face you know what I mean and that was one of the hardest things I've ever done. Admitting you're wrong, admitting you are a shitty fucking person is fucking hard. So the fact that Jeffrey sat down for 15 minutes and just laid everything out the way he did in such a good manner, I think he was really well spoken, he really got his message across. It's hard to be in that situation, but it needed to happen. He needed to do this because what he did was wrong. There's no getting around it, there's no justifying anything he did. He did a shitty thing. Now, going back to what I said about Cookian and Kaboom using this shit against him in the future, I know it's gonna happen. I know for a fact that in the next few months, maybe the next few weeks, the next few days, next few hours, I don't know what the fucking schedule is, But I know for a fact that especially, not so much Kaboom, but Cookian I know for a fact is going to have a, a reaction video to Jeffrey's video. I know for a fact and I can already tell you exactly how it's gonna go. And that's what makes me mad. And what made me even more mad at Cookian was his video from yesterday, I think it was. Which, just in case it's deleted, I still have it. So yeah, have fun with that. Actually, let's go ahead and dissect a little bit of it because there was a couple of things that I want to talk about in this video. Get sat down. Get the tea ready because everything has kicked off. Joffrey Star and Tati Westbrook, aka Glam Life Guru. Massive Twitter fight, massive brawl. Tati decided at the peak of her career before the downfall that she was going to do a collaboration with the very infamous Lord Voldemort. We are all aware of his shady behaviour over the past four decades or five decades he's been around. I'm going to do an estimate of how much Tati makes on YouTube. I have this written down. I don't use stats that are published online so I don't find them to be accurate. You may or may not be able to notice that my skin has a rather rough texture today, okay? The reason for that is fucking Clinique. You plaster your face with all that nasty one cent makeup that you claim to be creating in a factory that's safe, but you want to claim that it's the Clinique that's breaking you out. Mm, I call bullshit. It's that nasty ass makeup you're making. People's issue isn't with his half assed apologies for the various things. If Jackie Aina posted an anti haul on YouTube a while ago, and she basically, anti haul is when you include products that you won't buy, that you're not interested in buying, and you give reasons why you won't buy them. And she included Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks, and she just said she wasn't interested. She knew the past of Jeffree, and she just didn't feel comfortable supporting the brand. Let me know what you think about this. Do you think it's petty for her to do that? Because for me personally, I kind of feel like someone, if someone says to you, like, 
are you friends with Hitler? Do you like Hitler? No, because he killed all those people. I kind of feel like people are turning around and saying to Jackie and attacking her like really openly. There's a lot of people. After a while, anyone would retaliate. How is that an excuse? How is that an excuse? Jeffrey comes for me 24 seven. When do I ever re uh, retaliate by him? As for my decision process to collaborate with Jeffrey, I did something most of you can't do. I sat with him, heard his story, got to know him, and saw his heart. That was so heartwarming. Oh my god. We should try that with Hitler. Should we try it? Oh my god, so Hitler. I know you killed all those people and it was so traumatic, so ugly, obvi. But why did you do it? Hi John, thanks for having me. Yeah, so I did kill all of those people um, that were Jewish or that had brown eyes or brown hair or just weren't blonde hair, blue eyed. But the truth is, I was in a really bad mood. I had cramps that day. It was really painful. And also, I matched with this girl on Tinder, but she unmatched me. So obviously, I was in a bad mood. So realistically, my heart was hurting and I'm a very troubled person. I have a very troubled past and you should feel sorry for me because I'm the victim in the situation. I Bitch. I personally do not buy into that. People like Tana, Tana said some really stupid stuff, but when she apologized, she seemed so sincere that I don't see Tana as now being like a heavily racist person, personally. But if you decide to forgive her, that is completely up to you. <laughs> completely up to you. But so if you can find it in your heart to forgive Tana, why can't you find it in your heart to forgive Jeffree Star under the same exact circumstances? Is it because Tana gives you attention whenever you want it? Or is it because you just don't like Jeffree Star no matter what he has to say or no matter what he does? I'm gonna go with the second because that's just what you're about on your channel and you've proven it many many times Not to mention if it weren't for your blatant hatred towards Jeffrey and all of his friends You wouldn't have content to go on But here's what's funny though You seem to think that keeping them on your channel and talking shit about them will keep your channel from being stale However, I'm fairly certain the nosedive in subscribers and views you've had over the past few months Proves that people are already over your shit and cannot stand you and your fucking lies and your fucking hypocrisy Which I don't blame them I really don't blame them whatsoever because all you do is make up bullshit and make up drama that doesn't even exist. There was a point in time, very briefly, where I actually enjoyed your content, where I really thought that you were someone who was very honest and got to the point of things. Investigative journalists, I wouldn't call you that by any means because you barely do any research or any investigating into anything. If that doesn't prove how much of a shit stain you are on the underpants of the beauty community, then I don't know what the fuck will. I watched as much of that video as I possibly could. Jeffrey owned up to his shit. He apologized, he owned up to everything, put it out on the table for anyone to make their own decisions about him. And you're more than welcome to agree or disagree, believe him or not believe him, it's up to you. You're an adult, you can make your own decisions. However, I seem to remember that when you got exposed by not only myself, but countless other people, you ran to the fucking hills for a month to hide away to avoid any confrontation. So please tell me why the fuck you have any right to say anything about this, because as far as where I'm looking right now you have no room to say shit that is until your balls finally drop from inside your fucking body and you decide to actually own up to your shit which i highly doubt is ever gonna happen however when it comes to the wrongdoings of other people you will climb out of that hobbit hole so fucking fast and point those grimy little fingers at people for their wrongdoings but refuse to look in the fucking big ass glass mirror you have in your fucking bedroom take a long hard look at yourself and all the shit that you've done and apologize for it i'm not here to try to convince you to believe in what jeffrey had to say i'm not here to try to convince you that he was wrong or that he was right whatever you choose to believe is what you choose to believe and that's that i cannot persuade you either way and i would never want to we are all adults we can all make our own decisions on what to believe when it comes to things like this it's okay i am gonna say right now that it does make me very upset because jeffrey like i said I believe was very remorseful but it makes me sad thinking that people are gonna still use it against him in the near future and I know for a fact the very first person who's gonna do it because he has a personal vendetta against him is fucking John Cookian. John has made it very obvious that this is not a matter of what Jeffrey had done in the past. It's not about that in the slightest. Just by what he said in this last video, oh, he did this to me for eight months and this and this and this, you made it so 
clear that this is no longer about what he had done, like I said, this is strictly about your personal vendetta against him for whatever reason. Am I the only one who sees this for what it is? It's pathetic, honestly. All he gives a fuck about is making sure that he attacks him every single chance he gets, which is pretty much every single week. So I don't know guys, I don't really know how to end this video because it's kind of like a rant, but at the same time I'm kind of trying to like give my reaction to watching Jeffrey's video, which I have to say made me so happy to see that he finally did. My wish and my hope is that Jeffrey moves forward and tries to do as much good as he possibly can. I mean he's already started by donating all the proceeds that he gets from people using his code with Jue to a very very good cause in LA. I forgot what it was off the top of my head but I know it's for the LGBTQ community. To see him do that and be that selfless and donate all that money to something that really does make a difference especially in the LGBTQ community. I mean that is a good start. So I have to say, I mean, I've been very impressed with his actions so far. I mean, obviously he has some improvement to do as far as like his attitude and how he addresses things and how he goes about things, but, and hopefully it gets better from here. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I'm going to get off here guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave all your comments, requests, anything down below. Let's have a conversation and I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys so, so much. Bye.